was very young. It was very windy. You can hardly find a tree around here. They gave us shelter, a tent, and uh, food, water. This camp was developed because this land was seen as idle land. There is no agriculture that can be done on this land. And so, because of this problem of other countries fighting, their citizens were displaced and they had nowhere to go. So the government cleared the trees around for these refugees to come and get habitat here. When we came to Kakuma, Kakuma wasn't the way is it now. It was very, very, very hard life. It was very plain earth, whereby doesn't have trees and houses and anything else. People at the beginning had nothing, but people started planting. We plant trees, some people make a business, so it changed, it differently changed. Everybody tried to do something. People domesticated animals like hen, chickens, so they can sell it. Others had come with a little money from their countries before. So now you can see people having shops, restaurants. When we came in Kakuma, it was a horrible place. And now I can say we have done a lot. It's something small to do. You can live. Get the, the rations that is provided by the UN. Yeah, you can make your life. The only problem here is like, you are kind of contained. In this camp, you can only make your living. Unless you are resettled in another country. Even most of the people who are resettled, we communicate with them, they tell us how life is hard there. You have to pay for your school, you have to pay for the house, and getting a job is not that easy. In a way, you can see Kakuma refugee camp. It's a very peaceful place, because if you see many parts of the world right now, it's many cities, it's very hard to make life. In fact, what is going on today, you find that it is the opposite of the expectations. You expect to find the locals having more advantage over the refugees. But you see now, it is now the Turkanas which depend on the refugees because the refugees are provided for. When I was so young, our community was not large. But when the refugee arrived, there was a change. People from other areas migrated to live here in Kakuma town. When someone is hungry, he can't access food. He or she thinks of a refugee being provided for. The Turkanas, they are mostly poor, and they earn their living by coming to the camp and interacting with the refugees. When it is time to receive that ration food, a refugee will just decide to ask that Turkana woman to carry for her that big bag of maize. And then in turn she will give that woman these buckets, small buckets of maize.
they fetch water, they clean their houses, they make their life out of that. This coming of the refugees, I think it will help because you see the Turkanas will learn how to fetch something for themselves. When there is different countries together, we do learn different ways in which people can cater for themselves. Like now, we have learned through the refugees the importance of business. Getting refugees from different countries to this Kenya, interacting with the Turkana, it is like we're giving a good image to the whole world. It means that we can live together in peace, despite of our backgrounds. <laughs>